Hey you guys! Um, today I'm a vampire and I'm doing a bookshelf tour. Let me elaborate, elaborate, I can't say that with these in. I'm getting into the Halloween spirit because Halloween's soon and it's close to my heart. I really do love Halloween, it's my favourite holiday ever. I'm really annoyed it's on Monday this year but you know. And I'm breaking in my adhesive teeth because or else I'm not going to be able to talk properly. So I'm sorry if I lift a bit today, but yep, I've got my cute little cat hat and I hope it's a bit too. So without further ado, I'm going to do a bookshelf tour. Now I know you can't see this very well and I might bring you closer, but that means I will be off screen. So yeah, hopefully I can bring you close enough to see what books there are. Cool. So. Here I am and I'm blocking my freaking books already, I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay in view but at the same time stay out of shot. So I think for these ones I'm going to move out of the way and then I'll bring come closer. Okay, cool. So for the first book series I have, sitting here very nicely, is the Throne of Glass series. Now I own this book and I own this book which is the first and the last one but I don't own this one. This one's a friend of mine, oops. I know, a bit weird to have the first and the last book, but not the rest of them. I am planning on getting them, and don't worry, I'm not going to read the first one and read the last one. That is just a bookworm's worst thing to do, because you never understand. And yeah, this book series is just a beautiful cover. I think it's amazing. It's just oh, so pure and unblemished and white, and it's got such pretty backs because the pretty dresses and then the ooh I'm a badass front so that's how I describe book colours now ooh I'm a badass but yeah this is my beginnings of the book of this little book area I'm sorry I don't own more or else this would look more complete <sighs> now I'm a little I, I don't need to be out of the way. I'm going to be here again in my teeth and in my hack and I hope you enjoy. Uh, the next books are quite clearly my bae. My babies, they are my favourite series in the world. The Bottle Instrument series and I know you're going to probably comment why aren't you going into Shadowhunter this year if it's your favourite series? Well. I don't want to. I love them so much that I don't think I can justify being any of the characters. So I can't just go, I'm a shadow hunter, because I'm meant to go as a character. That's it. Today, this year I'm going as a vampire steampunk person thing. But yeah, which I'll probably show you in a video, to be honest. But yes, this is my beautiful, amazing, I am so proud of these covers, I'm sorry. but. To start off my beautiful collection, I have the little book of quotes and it's just so cute. It's so cute. Just, I'm sorry, just look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> it's got little engravings. That one's not engraved, but look, like, little engravings and quotes. Well, it's not a quote, but you know. Just, what's that one? What's that one? There you go, Simon Lewis. Good old Simon. I can't see what I'm doing. There you go. Half of your ephedrine is better than all of anyone else's. I don't know where that's from. I don't know whether it's from the book or from the movie, but yes. There you go. That is, it's good information to have. There you go. My first. My baby. I might look really weird when I'm talking because I can't actually shut my mouth properly because I can't go. <laughs> I look weird. I've got no pointy bit. Anyway, <laughs> next is my movie cover, which is obviously the poster. Yes, so pretty. Just, this is the movie cover obviously of City of Bones and because we didn't get any movies, we got a shitty TV show, but you know, don't get me started. I'll probably cry instead of run. I'm now on the crying stage of grief with the butchering of my favourite series. 
And then I have obviously the pretty cover. Um, <laughs> the two bones with the pretty. I will give you a close up. There you go. The bones. I'm trying to figure out who all these are, but from the front covers, um, this is Simon. I think. I'd say that's Simon. Then this one's obviously Clary, because she's short and got red hair, obviously. This one, I am under the impression it is Sebastian, and I fucking hate him, but it's a really pretty colour, so I don't mind. But I don't know whether that's him or not. That could also be Alec, but then again, that's Alec. I don't know. But this is Isabel, obviously, with her amazing whip. And this is... Yeah, that's got to be Alec. So that's Alec. And then this one's Jace. Because with his heavenly wings and all. So I'm intrigued on who this one is. So if anyone wants to comment down below and tell me who that is meant to be, that should be a blast. Thank you very much. But I'm really proud of these covers. I got them for £12. It's still about 49 quid. I think they were meant to be. And it's just, oh, I'm so happy. If you want to know where my other copies are going, the copies that I showed in the book troops to all of these, they're actually going to my Derby house, where I will then have a copy there, so then I can actually read them while I'm down there instead of actually having to take the books with me, so that's great in space of my suitcase, so yeah. Then I have the Bane Chronicles, which I'm not going to pull out because it's got other books like sitting on top and generally it's quite hard to get them back in with only one hand. Then I've got Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, my beautiful and precious collector's edition of Clockwork Princess. I am immensely proud of that book and when I do get around to getting the these covers of the Infernal Devices, I am not getting rid of this. This one is staying on my shelf for just utter pride of having a collector's edition. Hi, you can just see my hand. I'm here, hello. Then I've got the Shadowhunter Codex, Lady Midnight, and hiding behind the Sea World is the Shadowhunter Guide, which is basically all the information about the movie, which is my bay. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna shuffle over here a bit and just get the books out instead, because they've got no books sitting on top of them. Now here, this very colourful corner, is the Firewalker series. I'm almost sure that's what it's called. I will probably have my best friend messaging me at the bottom going, you're stupid, it's called this series. But yeah, sorry Justine, love you. But this is a series that I've talked about in more than one book video, I think. I think it's been in two reading lists and one reread list. I'm not entirely sure. But this is, this one's Trial by Fire. Then there's Firewalker and Witch's Prior. And this is the series that I told you about, that if you do this, they all join together in one face. I am so proud of that. I'm so, I think it's so pretty. I just think it's amazing. But I think I've done a booktube about these. If not, it will come to you soon, I hope. Oh dear God, no. Oh, see what I mean about getting the books out? I always feel like I'm gonna bend them. So that is basically my front row. My front shelf are uh, my pride and joys. My soon to be pride and joys when I finish them. You know, buy them all, because I'm stupid. And just my, pr my, I'm proud of the covers. <laughs> so my babies, these have all my baby characters in. These, this, these have my new babies. They're my new babies. And these are my, I fucking love the covers. <laughs> And the characters are pretty good too, though I've only read the first book. Sorry. Up here, which I'll pull out, Temptest. And Temptest I bought from a pound shop, actually. And I'm actually pretty impressed with the fact that I got this for literally a pound. Uh, as the name of the shop suggests. But I've heard about this series a couple of years ago. And it's about a boy who, after his girlfriend gets in a tragic accident, realises he can go back in time. But he goes too far back. To the point where he hasn't even met his girlfriend yet. So what he's got to do is, make her fall in love with him, to stop her 
dying in the first place. And it's a trilogy, I think, or it's a series, I'm not entirely sure, but I will let you know what it is like when I read it. But the cover is very pretty, but it's a hard cover, which is a little hard to fit on my shelf. Not because my shelves are small, it's just quite a few of my books are paperback, so it kind of looks out of place. This looks okay because obviously I've got paperback, paperback and then hardback, but you know. Put that back and bring out Nevermore by Kelly Cree. Now, this book I bought a while ago and I was obsessed about it. I got that far, you know, quite far in, and I literally lost the book put it down, uh, I think we had a clear out and everything got moved and I lost it to the point where I forgot what was happening and thought damn I'm going to have to start again, started again and then I think uh, City of Lost Souls came out? Um, no, Cosmic Princess came out so I got confused and didn't read it but what's amazing about this book is it's got the pages that you don't need to bend the spine keep open they just nicely sit every book I need a petition made to have every book ever made in paperback made like this so then it just sits nicely no matter what page it is think see see and no spine bendage this is the revolution of books people this needs to happen I'll put that nicely back up there I think the fangs have got to me, people. Anyway, I now have to move out of the way again and bring you down here to see this row. And then I'm probably going to have to lie on the floor for you to see the last row. Great. Now, right here, we have my lower fantasy series. This is my super high fantasy series. This is this one down here. These three are a high fantasy series that I didn't manage to put up here. But yeah, most of them are a little bit easier to get into. Now the first series, trilogy, I mean, is the Ruby Red trilogy. I have done a review for the first book and I do urge you to go check it out because I'm not actually going to say anything about this series because I think you should go check out the booktube. It was a very good series. I enjoyed it immensely. I wanted to reread it again, but... Lady Midnight came out, so I went straight for that instead. It's a truly good series, and I can tell you how good it is by the fact that this series was originally German, meaning it's got to be good to have been changed into quite a few different languages, if I remember correctly. Next one in the, my little line is the, I think it's called the Underworld series, by Meg Carbert. And this one is a series I've been looking for for a while. Every store I went into always had the second and third book, but never the first. So I got really frustrated until I found the first book in a charity shop. And I was like, yes, go me. I found it. So here it is. It's sitting here waiting to be read. But at the moment, I am trying to get through Crown of the Night. And that's not because it's bad. It's because... I am in a rather nostalgic mood for books I've already read, but I know I should read Crown of Midnight first before I read, well, I reread books. So, yeah. They're waiting there patiently, and I hope they can wait a little longer, because I'm being a pain in the ass in my own brain right now. Sorry, my beautiful babies. Above those is an audiobook called Splintered, and Splintered is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland. Now I'm going to put that back because there's no point in you just staring at it. Now it's a bit weird that I've got an audiobook of that and then the second and third book in actual book form. Now that is because in the charity shop that I went to, they were literally like that. Somebody had bought the audiobook and then the second and third book in book form, which some people read like that you never know but it was a good deal compared to what it would have been look forward to reading them and just yes it's a really good series i did start listening to it but i've not had a laptop with a cd player for a while so yeah it's gonna have to wait for a little bit further along in this beautiful shelf that's missing so many books right now is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Now, if you don't know about this book, 
I'm just going to redirect you straight to my booktube because that's what you need to do people just go watch the booktube okay I'm not even going to explain I'm not going to say anything just go watch my booktube on it or even watch the movie trailer yes I saw the movie and it was actually okay I got a little bit annoyed at one major difference but I will tell you that in the movie review this space is not just there for fun this space is there for the first and second book Forsaken series it's Forsaken, Forbidden, Forgiven and Foretold and there's a book that I didn't actually know about until recently that's the last book in the series and it's called Mind Games which I find is a bit of a disappointment to say that they went so well with all the F words that sounds bad but you know this series I've talked about and how underappreciated it is and how it should be appreciated so so much more so please I urge you to go check it out because it's just a really good series and I'd love you forever if you made it big thanks I need a movie about this but I need more fans come on now people help a girl out <laughs> The next one is a little bit battered, but it's Fallen by Lauren Kate. Lauren Kate, I can't speak. Now, I've spoke about this book and how I'm trying to reread it before the movie comes out. And I know there's a series to this book. And I will probably be bringing that series back when I come off a week holiday from my other ha from my dad's house down in Derby. So, hopefully my space, I'll have to rearrange my bookshelf yet again when there's not enough room because I've got four of those books I think and four and four make eight and I'm not going to be able to fit eight books in this tiny space so great and sitting here all on its lonesome is Die For Me by Amy Plum and this is a trilogy I think, I'm not entirely sure I got this from a charity shop yet again and I've been seeing this series around on Goodreads quite a bit so I'm looking forward to reading it and I'm hoping it's as good as all the reviews have said and it's just it's very pretty it's a very intriguing story if I remember correctly but I'm not gonna give anything away because I want to try and go in as blind as possible so look at it it's so pretty I want that dress That's, oh, it's just a nice dress now, oi, Dumbledore, stay standing, my friend. If you don't know what this series is, you've obviously been living under a rock for the past god knows how many years. This is a Harry Potter series. This is the first one. This is the very last one. This is the latest one. I have got them all. This is an old, these are the old covers. I think they're one of the original covers. And I am currently reading Chamber of Secrets because I've not actually read the, ch the series. I've watched the movies and I love them immensely but I feel like I can't say that I love the series until I've read the books. So currently in Chamber of Secrets and hoping that I love them as much as I love the book movies or else I truly cannot call myself a Potterhead. So this is my wonderful second row. I'm so sorry guys I can't show you the rest of my bookshelf I can only show you the first two shelves for the simple fact that my camera has run out of battery I've literally got 30 seconds until it turns off so what I'm going to do now is like comment down below and subscribe to this channel if and I will try my best to get the sec the last shelf up for you I'm sorry I really need to talk quickly I've lost my charger and my camera's gonna die sorry love you guys I'm gonna go read a book bye <laughs>